time to meet with Artist Her Paint Party, you have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party, and I'm super excited to be here with you tonight. Yay! Can you guys believe it's May? I can't believe it's May. Oh, and then you can see I gotta come up a little. I I have flannel pajamas on. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I, I thought you couldn't see me from the waist down, but I think you caught a glimpse. And eh, whatever, plaid's in, isn't it? It's a little chilly. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. Today was a little cold and damp here for May, but I know it's going to be warm soon, soon, right? Summer's coming, you guys. I'm so excited to be here with you. Tonight, you guys, we are going to paint wine bottles. I don't know if you caught the episode last week, but we did wine glasses. So I have a few of the wine glasses here and I have wine bottles. It's the same supplies, right? Multi-surface. So you can use the same supplies. If you did the wine glass painting with me last week or you got the supplies from that one, it's the same supplies that you would use on wine bottles. The only thing different I'm going to do is are the lights, which are just so awesome. So let me just tell you, once upon a time, I used to soak my wine bottles to get all the labels off. And then I would have to drill the hole in the bottle. I have my old one here just to show you. I used to put this under the water and drill it with the drill bit. It was not fun. And then get the old, you know, um, plug-in lights, put it in there, and then you would plug them in. Still fun. People loved it. You know, I have some pictures I'll show you guys later. But now they make the fairy lights, okay? They're awesome. They're little baby fairy lights, and they come like a cork. So the switch has the on-off on the cork. Okay, that's right. That just, I can't even tell you guys what that did for me. So, um, and then once I found those, and it just, look, it has a little switch. You use it as a little night light. They look really cute on the bar or on your patio. So love that. Well, I'll show you guys that later. Love the fairy lights with the cork. You can still use the old school plug-in one, but you're either going to have the cord coming out of the top or you have to drill a hole in the bottle. Good luck with that. <laughs> you can Google it like I did. Again, it's not fun. And um, anyway, all right. So I have my favorite. This is multi-surface full art paint. Two ounce bottles. I like to get the variety kit so you have all the different colors. You guys could get, you know, a simpler, smaller kit, but again, it's fun to have a bunch of different colors to do a bunch of different things. And um, before you start painting on any glass surface, you should really clean it with some rubbing alcohol or some white vinegar. You could, even your bottle. So, you know, your bottle is gonna have oil from your fingers as you've held it, and the paint won't adhere to it as well unless you wipe it down. So you can use rubbing alcohol, for all my nurse friends or teacher friends, happy teacher appreciation week. You guys, if you have these little packets, you can rub down your glasses or bottles with that as well. And then dry it off. It dries really quick with rubbing alcohol. I always have some Q-tips handy in case I make a mistake. If I want to do little dots, I can use the Q-tips as well. So before we get started, I want to give you some inspiration and show you some pictures. I have Jim behind the scenes who's going to work the uh, little controller. And you can start with any of them. You can start with the wine glass ones if you want to start with the wine glass. So I'm going to actually repeat some of the pictures that I showed you guys last week. Just so, you, again, if you didn't catch it, you can see. Oh, that's actually that's actually a booze bottle, okay? So that was an event I did at a speakeasy, and they saved. We were upcycling all, and you can see the old lights, right? That was before the twinkle lights. So um, we used all these really cool bottles at the speakeasy that they, they were bourbon bottles. And uh, it was really, really fun. And that I just love that one. And I have a picture of her doing it as well. 
There's a, there should be another one of her holding up her bottle as she was painting it. There she is. Ah, uh, that's Anne, by the way. So uh, again, that was just so much fun. And we were using multi-surface paint. It took her about, eh, about 90 minutes to paint that. So don't think you guys are going to be done, you know, in 30 minutes or an hour unless you're, we're doing polka dots. But there's some more. So you don't have to use a wine bottle. You can use a bourbon bottle. You can use a whiskey bottle. You guys, I even have, um, okay, so I was recycling today. This is I thought it was so cute. It's a glass uh, salad dressing jar. Okay, so look at that. Look at how cool that is. I did not want to recycle it and throw it away. I thought it was the cutest little jar. You could tell I just washed it, right? So I should let it air out a little bit. I'm like, I am going to paint this, okay? This would be awesome for buttons or pins or what is it? Something that you collect that's little. Um, you know, anything that you can think of that would be a good little thing to collect stuff with. Uh, but you can paint it again. You can paint the inside of it, which looks really cool from the outside, or you can paint the outside like the wine bottles. You, you could maybe even stick a candle in it, couldn't you? You could. Yeah, that's a great idea. Leave it to Jim. I have a baby candle. Look at it. I don't think this is, well, this is like last week I was showing you guys my wine glasses and how you can use them. But I do have these little baby candles. So I guess it just depends on how big it is. I'll drop it in there. Yeah, good idea. Think outside the Amazon box. Oh, I got my box over there. I got to get it. Great idea. So this one, because this jar is kind of small. So that's a little votive that I just dropped in there. Great idea. I love that. So don't throw these away. Find a reason to use these, especially if they're really cool. I had never seen a jar like that. So I really, really like that. Now this one, I already painted white, so it's dry. And you guys, it doesn't take long to dry. So if you want to cover the entire wine bottle, that's fine. Or you're not going to see it glow like you would if you leave right parts of it where it's transparent. So I like it not solid, but that's just your preference. Maybe you're not even going to use lights, right? Maybe you're just going to paint it solid. So, and again, you can use clear, you can use color bottles, you can use green bottles, whatever you have. So um, let's show some more pictures because, again, I want to inspire you guys before we get going. Oh, you guys, my mom made those. I put those up for Mother's Day because my mom did those. They were, they were abstract. And so my mother always paints with me on canvas, and she loves that we have a good time. She found it more challenging to paint realistic on a wine glass, right? Because it's a curved surface. So she said, I'm just doing abstract. She picked her favorite colors and just did like these swirly fun lines. And then the bot she painted the bottom of the wine glass and left the stems clear. So I thought that, again, if you want to do just something like free flowing and not worry about details and having it look exactly like something, that doing an abstract design in your favorite colors is the way to go for sure. We, we do have a question from a, a, a Too Deep over on Amazon. Is okay. acrylic okay for glass painting? So I, th what I'm using is acrylic, but it's multi-surface. So if you plan on, um, especially if you're going to wash it like the wine glasses, if I use regular acrylic paint on the glass, it's going to peel off. So it doesn't adhere to the glass like multi-surface. So... What I'm doing right now, if I used regular acrylic, acrylic paint, it would peel off. And um, I also use oil-based Sharpie markers or any type of marker that's made to write on glass is good as well. But you have to use acrylic that's multi-surface, okay? And I don't use oil paint. I use oil paint markers that dry immediately, but I don't use oil-based paint because it takes so long to dry. It is beautiful, but so this is acrylic, dries really quick, but it's multi-surface. So make sure that it says multi-surface, right? You can use this on canvas too, but it costs a little bit more money. So I just use regular acrylic paint on canvas and I use multi-surface on anything else. So if you want to paint on plastic, if you want to paint on, we did rock painting. We did, um, a few weeks ago, we did the rock painting. So any surface you can think of that normally would not adhere, like metal, a regular acrylic would peel right off of metal. It would peel right off of plastic. But the multi-surface is really, really good. It's more dense, okay? And it's, so it's a little bit thicker and um, more opaque. So sometimes it depends on the color. You, you have to put a couple coats on. Here, I'll just do a couple. So I'll just use, um, 
I'll use a Q-tip just to show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it the pink because you know, it's May. So all you do is take a Q-tip or the eraser of a pencil or the handle of a paintbrush and you dot. Can you see that? Do you see how thick that is? And do you see, it's kind of hard to see the color when I get that close, but you can see how thick and opaque it is. Opaque means you can't see through it. So I could just dip it up. Now, if I make a mistake, I could just cover it up. I would just let it dry and then cover it up. So dip and dot, dip and dot, right? Now let's just say we want to do something other than dots. That's what we really focused on last time. So you guys, and I'll just show you before we get going. Okay, here's one, because I smudged it. My big thumb went on top of it. Look, all I'm going to do is cover it up. No one's going to know that that was a mistake, because by the time I'm done with it, as long as it's dry, you cover it up, no one knows especially if you're drinking wine. <laughs> All right, so that's how we did it. We dipped and dot the glass with your favorite colors. Okay, you can do the bottom or not. And if you're doing a wine glass, just remember, don't go too close to the top. But tonight we're gonna focus on the wine bottles, okay? So let's just say, I'm gonna, I don't wanna make this one solid because I like to see the lights. So start with a dry paintbrush. Let's see, I got these open here. These are really good too. These are in the carousel. They're very nice quality. I don't wet my brushes before. So this is actually like literally right out of the bag. I'm going to start with some green. So I'm just going to do some stems. I'm just going to kind of work my way up with some like a green wavy line. I would probably do them at different levels. It'll look cuter. You can go all the way around. You guys cannot put a second coat on until the first coat dries, but you might not even need a second coat. I'm trying to make it look like a fun party, but it's going to be flowers. And again, I would go all the way around. So this is another one of my old bottles. Would look. This is an example of how hard it is to drill that. Look at that hole, okay? You guys, it was so hard to drill holes in these bottles. That's probably why I still have it. But, and those drill bits, I don't know if you guys, I don't know a lot about it, but I went to Home Depot to get it and it was expensive. So, and the only reason why I didn't get it on Amazon is because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't need some help. <laughs> but again, it didn't last too long because I found the fairy lights on Amazon. And then I was like, no more drilling. Yay. All right. So, again, you don't have to do it like this, but I thought it would be fun. And then... Maybe I put some leaves on here. It doesn't have to be realistic. This is also a really fun project. Maybe you guys could do it for Mother's Day. Maybe the gift would be doing the project together, right? And then you would have a keepsake. I love all of the stuff that I've made with my mom. So I don't actually give her the paintings. We do them together. And when the weather gets nice, we sit on my deck and we do it together. How long does that take to dry, Denise? This is, if I just put it down here and left it for a little bit and moved on to another, I would say within 30 minutes. It depends on how thick it is. So in the areas that I made the paint a little bit thicker, it takes a little bit longer. And it also depends, I hate to say this, I have the heat on here. I'm sad, <laughs> the heat's on in the house. So the paint will dry quicker because the heat's on. So the humidity level is lower. The, more moisture in the air, the longer it takes for paint to dry. So, but I have a blow dryer here too. So if I, we come back to this and it's still wet, I could just blow dry it. You guys, if you blow dry it, it's dry right away, like two minutes. So usually when I do an in-person event, I always have a blow dryer in case someone has to leave or, you know, they're not real patient. But this, you guys will not take me long. I'll tell you what takes long. Like I do a lot of well, I haven't done them lately, but summer festivals, I would do like these Harry Potter summer festivals. And one time it was 100 degrees and it was so humid, nothing was drying. So everyone would leave their paintings on the grass and come back when they were done at the festival. So that's when I realized, oh my gosh, it really does depend on how humid it is. Not even hot necessarily. It's just really how much moisture is in the air. That's your science for today. That's all I could tell you about science. <laughs> all right. So again, that's just like, some leaves now you want to add like some greenery to the bottom you can do that you can write mom on it you could put the name maybe every flower is someone in your family right you can name each flower or put a letter on it 
Or maybe you make them different heights according to like the youngest person in your family to the middle to the oldest. Something like that. I don't know. And I like bright colors. Again, we're, we're thinking spring. We're thinking bright. We're thinking Mother's Day. Okay. So, so Denise, what, what would be some of the um, uses of these bottles once you've painted them? What are some things we can do? With so I'm just going to tell you what my friends do or people that I know. And we have more pictures too. They are so pretty. If you guys have a bar in your house, they would look really pretty on the bar or next to like if you have a wine cooler or on top of the wine cooler. And then people I know use them as night lights because again, it's really dim and it just looks really pretty lit up like this. Um, so night lights, and if you have a deck, they look really cute outside on the deck or in like a welcome entryway by your front door. Um, and then I think, so again, I'll look, look at the pictures because I have one where there's no lights. Well, that's okay. So that's a blessing plate. Again, I'm just showing you guys how to paint on glass and there's some bottles and look at their, um, their bottles have the lights on inside. You guys, that was when I got to the fairy lights. Okay. So, <laughs> but, and they put them inside the bottle, super easy to put in and turn on. You can see the little cork on the top. So I like that. That's really cool. Yeah. We know that those are the newer ones. And I did that at a winery. So again, more ladies, a lot of flowers. They love the flowers. And again, they usually put it on their bar. A lot of times they give it to people as a gift, um, but on the bar, on the patio, on the deck, on the wine cooler and the corner of your kitchen counter, like under the cabinets, it looks really cute too. Cause it's, sometimes it's a little dark under there. So wherever you think it's gonna look good and you don't have to light it up again, you can maybe use it as a vase. So I have one somewhere in there where, um, so that was cute too. I don't have a great steady hand like that. So I would say either you have really good handwriting or you get a stencil, right? And I have seen people in public when I do these events write like that. And I just like, People think because I'm an artist, I have really neat handwriting, but I don't. Okay, you guys, I um, I still can't believe you can see my. I gotta fix this because I can't believe you can see my pajamas. Okay, <laughs> so um, so anyway, all right, so yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. Look at that. That is like a simple kind of abstract design with lavender. You can use it as a vase, so it doesn't have to be lit up. Let. I don't know if that was proper English, but so this is an example. I could just do a design on this, right? In different colors and then put a sunflower. I have a sunflower over here, but I want to paint this. So I have a sunflower over here. It's not real. But look, okay. That we, we can make it a Van Gogh vase. You guys, could, yeah, I did have it a ghost. I painted over. Can you see the ghost face suddenly? I did a series of these at Halloween. So I had a Frankenstein, a pumpkin, a ghost, I couldn't find them. I found the ghost and I just painted over the face. But again, you could do a whole series. You could have your friends over. Everybody could do one. You guys got to think outside the Amazon box that's all across the room over there. Um, but the, again, it doesn't have to be something that you light up. Here, let's let's do a let's just do a fun design like that one we just saw. So you could do again. So I've already painted the bottle white and it's dry. So I did that before we came on. And I'm just, and you guys, it's okay. Someone, the last time we went live, asked for um, a step-by-step -step painting kit. It's okay, gosh, you don't think I did those? I did those. It's so, it's all about whatever you find relaxing and fun. We're not trying to, you know, get into the art museum here. Well, if you are, that's okay too. But it's just a way to relax, laugh, have fun de-stress, right? Whether you're doing it by yourself or with your friends or family. It's a great way to teach people how to recycle, upcycle different products. And you could do this with kids. Again, maybe they you save like an apple sauce jar and you show them, you know, hey, we could take the label off of this and make it into what something that kids collect. Their teeth, huh? No, they don't. You guys take the teeth and give them. Well, no, I'm not going to say it out here in case kids are watching. <laughs> <laughs> to the fairy. God, wait, who's the, the tooth fairy? That's the what tooth I fairy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the tooth fairy. That's what I was thinking. So you never know if the kids are up this late. This is late, though. Well, not if you're in California, but in Cleveland. What, you know, they're probably 
playing video games. But again, you could create, oh my gosh, that kind of reminds me of a tulip. So it could be just, I was really just trying to do an abstract design. Oh, and you could put ribbon around the top. You could put rope around the top. You can hot glue um, things to it. So that I was just using pink because it was there. You want to do a, and you can see it better because it's so bright. And maybe, again, maybe you like it like that. Maybe it needs a second coat, but you can't put a second coat on until it dries. Let's see how our green's coming. So where my green is pretty thick, it's still wet. So, but I could put, I'm going to need some more pink. Oh, and I want to show you guys how the, the Sharpie markers work too. So like writing, you guys can use the Sharpie markers to write with, but they're Sharpie oil-based markers. So look, if I want to put a flower here, I could just paint a flower. See, I overlapped it on the green, even though the green's not that dry. And I'm going to put like a little yellow center. So I'm just tapping it on there. And it's pretty thick, right? I want you guys to be able to see it. Let's, and maybe I'll switch color. Maybe I'll put some red on there too. Okay, so again, we're try I'm trying to make this fun and bright and different and like a gift. All right, so what was that? Oh, I was going to show you the Sharpie markers. So, you guys, these are awesome, okay? They're very opaque. That means you can't see through them, so they're not. So a wine bottle is transparent, right? And this makes it opaque if I'm using this kind of paint. That means you can't see through it, but you can see through the glass. So these Sharpie markers, I should, you get them juicy by pushing down, okay? And it comes off your hair, your skin, your nails. All right, let's let's... You could put, oh, I have a butterfly on one of these. That's on the glass. All right, how about just like some abstract swirls? Let's do stuff. It's funny. So I'm trying to draw like backwards on the camera so you guys can see it. So they're almost like little G's, but they're like little swirls. You can do the same thing and do little dots. It helps if I get the camera on here. Little baby dots, right? More little baby swirls. You could put bumble. Oh, let's do a bumblebee. That would be cute, right? So I should have. This is awesome. Multi pack. Got a variety of colors. I have a yellow. I'll paint the bumblebee on. Bumblebees are cute, right? We could put a cute little bumblebee with our flowers. But you know, maybe your mom likes some um, monarch butterflies, right? You could put a monarch, so I, here, I think this one, here's a on the glass, right? There's a monarch butterfly. So to get those details, I use the Sharpie markers. That's why it's so more intricate than the big you know, circles. That's where I would use, again, more um, of the Sharpie marker for details. Let's see if I could do a bumblebee on here, or I could do it on here. I need a paintbrush. Let's say we do, I'll just do the whole body kind of white here. See how opaque that is? Ooh, that would be a good, um, Oh, what's that face? I did a lot of Halloween stuff, Tim Burton stuff. People love that Tim Burton. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that's what it is. That just reminded me of it. I'm going to make a bumblebee, though. So maybe I do wings here. Now my So I was going to do some yellow stripes and some black stripes, but my white is pretty wet. So I'm going to let it dry. It was going to be a flying bumblebee. So let's let that dry. That's the hardest part is letting it dry. People are like, oh, you know, like they want to move on. But I just keep 
going back and forth to different, right? So you could have a couple things going on at the same time because you don't want to waste your paint either. So like now I could add, can you guys see that? So my pink's not dry yet. So I just took a Q-tip. and put it on there. You see that? It's gonna give it a little texture too because I'm using a lot of paint. So bright yellow on bright pink. And again, if you wanna get a kit, get a kit. I like kits too. I just, because I do this so much, Again, I like to have a variety of colors, a variety of paint brushes. I do this all the time with my friends. I think I have some pictures. Well, let's see what else we got for inspiration, Jim. I put a lot of pictures on tonight just to give you guys ideas. Oh my gosh. All right, so you guys, that's gonna take a while, right? So I wonder if I have another bottle to show you how to do that. Look at that. I can do a bottle in a sunset color, but you're going to paint the whole background. So if you've ever done a sunset on a canvas, it's the same thing. You're going to paint the entire background. Think background to foreground. I could do that next. Actually, I'd have to, I could do it on this one or because I already paint. Yeah. If you want, I can turn my, but I could turn it, this one into a sun. It probably would look better on a clear bottle, but that's really, really easy. I actually, so I have two in-person jobs this weekend and both people chose to do sunsets. Okay. So it's probably the, look, look at how pretty those are. So again, that reminds me more of this, except it's got the sunflower on the bottom, right? So we could put a really pretty sunflower. You guys know sunflowers are really popular too. The tree, I've seen a lot of people do the white tree. That's really pretty. Again, they have, look at the, you saw the cork with a little switch on it. Um, so I would say, okay, and this is a, a winter one, right? You wanna make it look like winter. See how pretty the bows are? Those are favors for probably a shower or a wedding. And um, that clear bottles, white paint, blue paint, black is always last. The little, the little uh, cardinal, right? So that's so cute. Just that little tiny bit of red makes that. Just a little bit of color, a little bit of blue, silver ribbon, beautiful. Okay, you guys, could, let's not plan for Christmas yet. Okay, I can't, I can't deal with thinking about winter. But I did think that was a good picture for you guys to get inspiration. And you could make these into, again, if you want to do a series, you could do a reindeer and a Santa Claus and a Grinch. But we'll, we'll do that another day. Let's think spring. Let's think Mother's Day. Let's think summer so okay now when you're done with the color oh there's more right so the one on the left is with the lights off and the one on the right is what it looks like with the lights on so i always have people turn theirs on when we're out in public i'm like okay now go well i used to say go plug it in go plug it in but now i'm like just flip the switch yeah right how, how did those lights get power do they are they like battery oh my power? gosh i didn't I, and it comes with an extra battery too the, those little tiny round batteries i was going to show you guys too so okay this is how easy because you guys i am not a technical person or do i have tools no like i said i can't even believe i used to drill those so it comes with this little like tab in here and so it's, it won't turn on and off or run any battery juice until you pull that little tab out okay so you pull that out, right? And that's now ready to go in the trash. And then the lights go on, okay? And then I'm just gonna save the juice. And they last a while. I have not had to replace the battery and I have a bunch of those batteries. But I was like, oh, you guys know what a battery looks like. But it comes with extra batteries and a little baby screwdriver. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just unwrapping it. And again, it's pretty long. Isn't that awesome? And it's got a little cork. Oh my gosh. And I have, I, when this was, this was really, really popular a few years ago and I bought every single, single strand Christmas light plug-in that I could find. And then they came out with these. And, I, and so now I have a whole box of the plug-in ones in my garage because there's no way I'm drilling wine bottles ever again. So this is, yeah. 
That's the only thing I've ever drilled in my life. So did you ever find when you were drilling them, would the bottles break sometimes? Yes. And yes, they would break. And so you, you get, especially because I variety of bottles, right? So the labels, some labels were so hard to come off. Others, they came right off. But I would soak them for days and everyone would give me a different recipe to take the stickers off. But it just depended on the type of wine it was and the glue that they used. Um, so it was really hard to get the labels off. And then drilling it, you had to drill underwater with your drill and the bit. And each drill bit um, was like 40 bucks. And you could only do maybe eight bottles before it got dull. And then you'd have to go buy another drill bit. I'm telling you, you guys don't try it. It's not worth it. Just buy it buy it but it's up again so this is look at i just undid it so this is about how long it is and then i want to paint it so i don't want to put this on until the end but and then it fills up the wine bottle and it looks so cute <laughs> it's a cute little night light too okay so i'm going to shut this off and i'm going to paint this one so let's paint this one like the sunset because the sunset one is really pretty right this is so i was telling you guys i'm doing the sunset painting this weekend Friday and Saturday at two different parties because it is the most popular painting. People love, especially in the summertime. So look, I'm going to, I'm going to make our bumblebee disappear. So I'm going to show you because you'd probably rather have a sunset than a bumblebee, right? Someone's be like, no, I wanted to learn the bumblebee. Oh, I'll do it another day. I'll do this again, you guys. So you could see, do you see the green through it, that means we're going to need a second coat. You cannot put a second coat on while it's wet. It's just going to keep moving the yellow around. But I think I kind of like the brush strokes in there like that. Now, you could put a tan at the bottom for sand, right? I'm going to make mine all the way down yellow. Then we could always wait for it to dry and change it later. And again, you might need a second coat. Now let's see if I even put orange here. Hold on, I'm going to get some orange. How do you guys make orange? Well, to make orange, you need red and yellow. Red and yellow. Oh, Jim, were you going to answer that? <laughs> no, I was I was waiting for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to think about it. <laughs> red and yellow are two primary colors. And you mix them together, and you get a secondary color, which is orange. So I happen to have, because it came in my little multi-pack, the multi-surface orange so i'm not going to make it i'm just gonna go yellow and i'm overlapping it and again it's going to need a second coat so you don't see the green bottle through it or you can you know what you know it would look really good if i did it on top of the white too there's so many ways you guys could do this is there is there a uh a benefit of using the dark green versus the clear bottle or i mean is it more so, just a, a style yeah. or i i think the sunset one would look better on the clear but i i already did the flowers on the clear it's really just your preference so i just you know when you showed the sunset picture i'm like oh yeah i should do a sunset but i i probably would like this sunset better on a clear bottle um or you can paint it first white and then go over it or experiment try it on the green but remember when you paint it solid like i'm doing you're not going to see the lights as much right and i like to see the lights so but i did like the sunset so you guys just have to really decide what you want and that's why i would have more than one wine bottle right because then you can experiment or maybe not a wine bottle, but maybe you have a little glass jar, an applesauce jar. What do you have in the refrigerator that you're, you know, you're going to recycle from glass? I'm trying to think of popular glass things that would hold something with a cap. Pickles, pickles, you know, <laughs> pickles have been really popular this last year. Did you know that? Yeah. Pickle sales, you know, guess what you guys, let's, I'm going to make you guys guess. Guess what's like been the most popular products for the last year that are selling? They're they're food, food. I'm talking food. Oh. They're it's red. Ooh, I'm, and I, as I'm painting red, I'm going to tell you two red foods that ha they couldn't keep on the shelves during COVID. Ketchup. 
No, but that's a good guess. You want me to tell you? Anybody know? Let's see. Any guesses in the in the audience? Not not at the moment. Red food. Uh, one I definitely took was part of that sales force. <laughs> think of think of snacking snacking with um, tortilla chips. Oh, salsa. Salsa. Salsa blew off the shelves this last year. Absolutely. And I think I bought half of them. And then um, the other red would be more for a dinner product. <laughs> also in a glass jar. Funny. So Ella on uh, Amazon has a question. Sure. Does the paint come off if you wash the glass or bottle? Okay. So good question. Oh, I'm so glad when you guys asked me questions, Ella. Thank you. All right. So you guys. The oil-based Sharpie markers dry immediately. You could immediately start drinking and washing your glass. And I would hand wash anything that is hand painted, okay? My friends, always, I put mine in the dishwasher and it's fine. Okay, fine, go ahead. And the paint bottle even says you could put it on the top shelf of the dishwasher and it's fine. I'm just saying it'll last longer and look better if you hand wash it. Two, if you're using the paint, it takes two weeks for your paint to set. So you can wash it after two weeks. That's the paint. The Sharpies, immediately. But if you're combining them, the Sharpies and the paint, or just the paint, wait two weeks. There is a way to bake it, okay? You can bake it, and I'm, I'm not recommending it. You can bake it in the oven at a very low temperature, like 150 for 30 minutes, it smells, it'll stink up your kitchen because you're baking, you know, multi-surface paint in your oven. And two, it changes the color. Okay, I can handle, I can open my windows, I can, you know, air out my oven, but it's the color, especially the white. So when you bake it, even at a low temperature, the white turns into a, like a, you know, that like burnt old look. And so it turns tan. And especially if you're doing Christmas stuff and you want it to be like a nice, fun, bright Christmas color, don't bake them, okay? Just don't bake them. Just wait two weeks. Be patient, okay? That's it. You can still drink out of it. Just don't wash it. You could not wash a glass for two weeks, right? Well, the alcohol killed the germs anyways. So and if you're painting a wine glass, don't paint all the way up to the top, right? Give it like a half inch or so because you don't want to drink on top of the paint. So thank you because I forgot to mention that. That's really, really, really important. I, again, I used to give out directions um, when I would do this in public with how to bake it, but too many people would tell me that their colors would change, my colors would change, and it smells, all right? And then you gotta say, don't use the oven because there's paint in there. <laughs> and then everyone thinks you're crazy. So believe it or not, the glass will not break in your oven. It's a very low temperature. Um, it, it sets the paint quickly. You can Google it, find, exactly how to do it but just wait two weeks all right and if you get, if you make one for mother's day and you give it as a gift just say hey don't don't wash it for two weeks it's not a big deal ella uh, does say thank you for your uh, ella you are so welcome ella 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 you're welcome now i want you to try it and i want you to send me a picture okay you guys i want to find some purple hold on so purple and blue i think i have the blue out there already so i want to um use a brighter blue. This one is the multi-surface, uh, see it says outdoor, indoor, outdoor, dishwasher safe. And this one's called Look At Me Blue. So it's a pretty bright blue. And if you guys don't have purple, you can mix. So red and blue make purple, but when you mix like a regular red and blue, it turns like a maroon. So you're gonna get a kind of like my shirt, like a burgundy color, okay? If you want a brighter purple, mix that a, like a pink with a light blue, like this blue I just, hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. And you guys, I use a styrofoam plate, I'm gonna show you what a mess I am. I'm a messy artist, but it's fun. Okay, so this is my plate. So here's my red, I just put that blue on there and there's some pink. Now I do have purple also, but I wanna show you guys what it's like to make purple because it's fun. This purple is called Perfect Purple, okay? But let's mix some purple and see what happens. So every time I switch colors, you can wash it off. Just, you don't wanna water down this paint. You wanna wash off your paintbrush and dry it off. 
So you don't want to water it down because you don't want to thin it. All right, so anytime you're mixing a color, you take more of the light one. So pink is lighter than blue and a touch of blue. And I'm going to mix it together. You guys see that? How pretty that purple is? That's a pretty purple, right? Now, let me show you guys what happens if I do red and blue. Okay, so here's my blue again. Here's a little bit of red. We'll put it over here. It's going to come out like my shirt. And it's fun to color mix, you guys. Don't be afraid to try it. Look at the difference, okay? It almost looks brown. So if you're trying to make a burgundy color or deep, deep purple and you don't have purple, red and blue will give you a burgundy like my shirt, okay? Pink and blue are gonna give you a prettier, more lavender color, all right? Now, for this wine bottle, I wanna do, so I went from, and I'll put a, a second coat on. My yellow, you guys, is almost dry. So I'm gonna, cause this is thin, right? I didn't kind of gob it on, I put it on thin, so I could do a second coat. Yellow, then orange, then red, then purple, then blue. All right, so my phone's going off. We're gonna ignore that. I'm gonna make a little bit more purple here. Now, if you want it lighter than what I just showed you, you add white to it. So it would be pink and blue and white, and then you'll get a softer lavender color, but I need to make more of it. All right, so really don't be afraid to experiment because that's half the fun. I just need more paint. So if I, I'm, I'm being thrifty and I'm trying not to put too much paint on my plate, but let's just say, I, cause I don't like to waste paint. But if I don't use it all, just get some aluminum foil and wrap your plate. You can use a plastic egg carton and close it. It'll last for a couple days. Um, I have a, like a red solo cup here that I'm just washing off my brush with some water. And when you're done, just use some dish soap, like Dawn or something to wash out your paintbrushes. Don't let them soak too long or they'll fall apart. Okay, so I'm gonna go from red. Can you see that purple? I'm just gonna kind of mix it into that red. Kind of looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? I need a little, um, kind of like a pottery wheel that rotates around so you guys can see it spin. Ooh, that would be fun. Bet you I could find something like that on Amazon, huh? You can find everything on Amazon. Is there anything that you guys have not been able to find on there? And who am I kidding? I put it, you guys, I put my favorite products down in the carousel. They're my favorite products, okay? <laughs> I was just like, I'll just share with you guys my favorite art supplies, my favorite products. If you're at a loss for Mother's Day gifts, everything that you see down there are things that I bought myself and my mother and my sisters. I have two sisters. I'm the middle, right? You know what they say about the middle. It's none of it's true. I'm definitely the best one. <laughs> but. Anyway, we're never at a loss for fun products. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish it up with blue. And oh, you guys can't see me. Now, if you wanted to use regular acrylic, and I have never done this on glass, I'm gonna guess if you use regular acrylic paint and then sprayed it, with a varnish, it probably would be okay if you didn't wash it or wet it. But I've never done it because I've always used the multi-surface paint. All right, so I have one coat on here, right? It looks pretty cool. Remember, if you're gonna paint the whole thing, you're not gonna see the lights. So try one where you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be more opaque. All right, you guys, I was doing this one as like a just a different design, but we could, I can show you the difference between it being on green, I know Jim asked before, and it being, let's just say, on a white bottle. Do you see the color shows up better, right? 
Now I have white as the base. And I'm just going to go all the way up to the top. Again, you don't want to put, I know you guys want to put the lights in, you know, like everybody else. I don't even give them the lights till they're done. Because people, just like me, they're like kids. They want to put them in right away. And then you get paint all over them. So I just, I pass them out at the end when I see that they're done. So you could see that the color on the white is showing up better. And it would show up better also on the clear one. But what wouldn't would be the lights. Because again, the lights are now going to be inside of... So it would be blue, then purple. And maybe you don't do the whole rainbow. Maybe you just do blue and purple because you love blue and purple. But you would, if you want that look, you would cover the entire bottle and then you would let it dry and then add your designs on top of it. That is a pretty purple. Again, that's the bright pink and the blue and you just make it normally people will be like how far down are you gonna go with the purple well it's up to you if you love purple you could do the whole bottle purple if you don't like purple don't use purple remember this is for you or for someone if your mom's favorite color is purple do the whole bottle purple you could put little paisley designs on here we know we could put polka dots on here Okay, you know what else you could do on here, which I don't have tonight, but if you guys have like, um, okay, you know how big that red truck is, that red truck or the blue truck, the old country truck, you guys can find an image that you'd like, like on a paper napkin, like a small little party napkin and cut the image out and glue it on here. Like first paint your bottle with that whatever color, but you even a happy Mother's Day napkin, you can um, cut the image out and then shellac it on with Maj Paj. Oh, I think I forgot to put Maj Paj in the cart. But Maj Paj dries like a, a transparent glue. It's definitely in my other stuff. So you guys, if you haven't checked it out, Maj Paj is one of my favorite products. But you could just, again, you can cut out an image that you like and glue it on. So it would be like a collage. Or you can hand paint the whole thing. Okay, so now we went from blue to purple. How about this one we skip the red? Let's go right to the pink and we'll mix it together and see what happens. So I just want you to know I did not wash off my brush because I'm feeling lazy. So I'm just gonna go right into the pink here and blend it in there. You definitely don't want it to be, what would happen if I washed my paintbrush off and didn't dry it off? It would drip. I don't want it to drip. So, yeah, I kind of like that look. I kind of like the pink, purple, and blue. It kind of reminds me of princesses, right? And then, you know what? You could reverse it and go back into the purple and the blue. Let's try that. Really, I just want to use my, the paint that I have on my plate. So look, I'm going to go back into the blue. Because I had a lot of blue on my plate, but it looks cool. So you have to do what you like, you guys. And it takes practice. So really, art is like anything else. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. Not that, again, not that it's going to go into the art museum or, you know, you're going to make a million dollars off of it, but you're going to get better. Like reading, writing. I don't know about technology. I guess I'm a little bit better than I was a year, a year ago, but not much. But a yes, yes, yes. A little. Okay, so I have gotten this, uh, isn't that pretty? I think that one looks really pretty. I like the abstract look. Okay, so now I gotta put it down because I'm getting my thumbprint all over it, right? Because it's wet. So I'm gonna let it dry. 
I'm gonna put my brush in the water. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my fingers off on the tablecloth because my paper towel's way over there. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna get my uh, shirt paint on. You guys, if I got paint on my shirt right now, I could wash it tonight and it would come off, but it's gonna set on your fabric. So if you get paint on fabric, like my tablecloth. So I have a, a tablecloth here that's fabric, but it's my paint tablecloth. So I wipe my fingers on it, I spill on it, you know. You guys can get those disposable tablecloths. You can, I used to use newspaper, but no one has newspaper anymore. So, um, okay. So let's, should we, this is the first one. This is one. The yellow's dry. The orange is still a little wet. Let's go back to our flowers. Let's go. To, so you guys, this one's pretty thick, right? But it, again, that looks kind of, it needs something at the top, like up here. So that would be a really good place to either add a butterfly, a bumblebee, maybe the sun, maybe um, you could write mom on there, but we, we should put something up there. How about some, I have a gob of white paint here. How about just, let's try some little white little polka dots. So I'm just using a Q-tip. Oh, you guys can't see. <laughs> I'm using a Q-tip. Oh, dragonfly. You know what? I don't think I, Jim, there's a bottle with a dragonfly on it. That's really cute. You guys gotta see that. That would be cute on this too, with dragonflies, fireflies. That's what kids collect. But you get, if you put, if you use a jar for fireflies, you gotta poke holes in it so you don't suffocate them, right? Oh, that was good. Polka dots, polka dots, trees. So that's a black silhouette. There's one of dragonflies. But you could show all, yeah, isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. And look at the rope at the top, right? So you could tie a rope around the top, the dragonfly. So those are all cool colors. So blue, purple, and green with a black line. Those are considered cool colors. Great color scheme. So you would start just like I did the background you know, on the purple one, you would do the whole background however you want it, let it dry, then you could add your dragonfly, let it dry, and then you could outline the whole thing at the end. People like to outline it first. Hey, I'm not going to agree to you, right? I'm not here to tell you, but it's easier to clean up all the edges and outline it at the end. So that's a really cool one. And again, I love the whole color scheme there. So I'm just putting polka dots on this one. Oh, so what do you guys think about this? What do you, I mean, this is such a cute, now it's a little candle jar. And you could, so I was telling you guys, oh, did I ever finish the answer? Did you, it was pasta sauce. The answer was pasta sauce, red sauce and uh, salsa. Those are the two things that they could not make enough of that were selling. I don't know if you guys noticed that the grocery stores were always, and if you even look now, if you guys go to the grocery store or shop on Amazon, you're going to see, only because I read an article, like sometimes the caps are going to be different because they also ran out of caps because they were making it in such mass quantities that they ran out of caps. So what was I looking at the other day? Some had black caps, some had gold caps. So like this one has a gold cap, but a lot of them right now don't even have like their name on it because they're taking what they can because the factories are making them as fast as they can. And the, the caps are going on there with whatever they can get their hands on. So I don't know if you guys have noticed that, um, it's, it's happening with many products, many, many products. So, um, yeah. All right. And I wanted to show you guys, all right, look at my hands, but again, it's all washable paint. So tonight I was very messy. My nails have paint all over them. So even though it's multi-surface paint, all this stuff is going to come off. If I got it on my shirt and I washed it tonight, it's going to come off carpet. It'll come off. You guys can use cleaning products. You can use those Mr. Clean wipes that I love so much. Um, but just make sure that what, wherever you get it, you get it washed out tonight. You don't want to wait. One of my other favorite products, you guys, while this stuff is drying, are these sketchbooks. 
you know who taught me about these? My students, the kids. The kids taught me these. I was using canvas, and now you know the canvas is about a half inch thick. This is paper thin, but it's multi-surface. I mean, multi like supply. You can use acrylic. You can use oil pastels, colored pencils, magic markers, whatever you have watercolor paint and the paper won't like buckle plus it's got like the preferate you know the perforated i don't know if i'm saying that right but these pages rip out neatly and so the kids these kids create with me every single week something new and adults i shouldn't just say kids it was the kids that taught me about this okay so this is definitely one of my favorite products we were doing c Oops, there goes my bottle and there goes look at oh my god you guys look i'm going to show you this shirt tomorrow after i wash it so this is the normal thing that would happen to me Okay, it looks kind of cool, right? That's why I usually wear an apron. Tonight, I wanted to show off my shirt, so I don't have an apron on. But when we're done, I'm gonna go wash this. It's gonna come out, right? I'll and then I'll wear it again tomorrow, and you guys can see it's clean. <laughs> so, the, oh, what was I gonna show you guys? Oh, the sea turtle. So I showed you the sea turtle on paper. When I'm teaching my art class, I always encourage people to use whatever they want to. So sometimes people make it, if we're doing sea turtles, they make it out of clay. Sometimes they use colored pencils, magic markers paint paint sticks whatever you have you can use well so i wanted to show you that that we were doing pointillism and sea turtles but you could also put a sea turtle on the bottle or on a wine glass now this one is embellished with stones okay so if you guys have little stones that you want to embellish your glass with, use, and I forgot if I put it, I don't know if I put it in the carousel or not. Um, okay, so my favorite glass glue, and we got to do this project, the beach glass, I do beach glass projects and it's so popular. I get everything for my beach glass projects on Amazon, okay, including this glue. You cannot find this Elmer's glass glue in a store, okay? This stuff works great. So. It dries clear, you don't need a lot of it, and the tip never gets clogged, okay? Thank you, because I can't stand when I have a huge party and then all the glue is stuck in the tube is room. So this is Elmer's glass and china glue, and you can use it to glue little beads on, little stones on, embellish your artwork. If you're using beach glass, this works great with the beach glass. So I have, Again, like some bling here. So I have some blingy little hearts, right? Even if they're self-adhesive, if it's a product that you're gonna wash. Now, you could put it on here, but it probably won't, if it's just the sticky stuff, it won't stay that long probably. So I would use a tiny bit of glass glue. And if you glue it on your glasses, fine. Definitely use glass glue, hand wash it. You don't want those little stones coming off in your um, washing machine, in your dishwasher, right? I don't, I'm not taking responsibility for that. So I'll just show you. Can you see that? So there's a little baby rhinestone heart on my glass. Tiny bit of glass glue, right? Bling it up if you want to. So um, that's another idea. So you can add stones, you can add, you know, I wouldn't, Maybe Maj Paj, it's got a little bit of glitter, but I'd probably not because it might eventually come off. So did we decide what we're going to do with this little baby jar? We did not. We One, one idea was for votive candles. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like that. That would be good. I, there's probably, like you said, there's probably things you could store in there and it would be a nice, uh, nice thing to put, put in there, paint whatever you put in there. I was just thinking too, um, this would really be cute if you turned it upside down and you put, I don't think I have a ribbon around here, but if you put like a ribbon around the bottom and this could be like a head of something, it could be a scarecrow. You can make a little hat for it. It could be a snowman face. I'm trying to think of a summer or something or other that this, so think of this as like a head. And you could also even make this into like your own little snow globe. So you can maybe make like an out outdoor scene on here with some I don't know why I keep thinking about snow but because it's cleveland you know what there I know we're gonna get one more blast of snow there's just it, it it won't fail but anyway let's forget about the snow globe but you could you could make this into a snow globe let's think of something it could be let's think of spring it could be you know again you can paint that oh, it could be a flower and then you could hot glue a butterfly on it right um 
we talked about having a vase for one of our, right? You can make a vase. You could make a Vincent Van Gogh artwork. Um, hmm. I just think this is the coolest jar. And look, if I paint it and I don't like it, I can wipe it. So the paint you guys can wipe off within a day. It'll come off. It's the, um, these Sharpies, you need rubbing alcohol. If you make a mistake, you need rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to get it off. Because I told you, these dry immediately. Let's see. How about if I just do... I don't know why I'm using blue for mom, but I am. So I'm just writing mom on here. Because I want to show you guys. You guys, I've already proved to you that I am not neat, okay? Now I have paint on my shirt and my hands. And I taught art for 20 years. You know, there are lots of people, they don't, like moms, they don't even allow crayons in their house because of the mess. So I get it. If you... And I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm no judgment because, again, I'm a messy kid. And luckily, my mom allowed me to make a mess all the time. So, but these, if you don't want to make a mess, these are the way to go, right? You don't even get dirty with these paint markers. And the paint sticks, the solid paint sticks come in tempera. So you don't need a paintbrush. They're not liquid. You can't spill them. Those are awesome to be neat, too. But, again, it's not going to stick to glass. I'm just talking for arts and crafts in general. So have you guys done your shopping for Mother's Day? Is everybody good to go? I'm sure there's some procrastinators. Uh, but at least with uh, Amazon, they still got time, right? Yes, you guys, and I just want you to know that, because I ordered one yesterday, those fruit and nut baskets, you better get them quick, because again, I was shopping on Amazon, and some of them could not guarantee, I mean, I did order one on Amazon, but they, some of them are taking longer than two days, so you got to get busy tonight, right? But there's, everyone loves flowers, and everyone loves a fruit and nut basket, I think, or perfume or something. I'm just saying, you guys get better get busy, it's Monday, and before you know it, it's going to be Sunday. I am taking my mom out for a steak. That's what she wants. She wants a steak. Mom. There. But again, I'm just trying to give you guys different ideas. You know what else you could do with this cap? Again, if you turned it over and made a little head of it. But you could cover it with fabric, too. Like an old um, T-shirt or something like plaid or something with like a pattern, that would be cute. Uh, again, you could do flowers, because you know, people are graduating, all the graduates. You could make a graduation vase, a great, well, no, they're graduation from college, right? You guys could take a wine bottle, right? You're at least 21 when you graduate from college. So you get a wine bottle and you paint something on it, like graduating class of 21, and then you give them a bottle of wine with a nice little painting on it. There you go. That's a good idea too, right? So then you guys, you got to clean up. Does anybody else have any questions for me? Did I forget about anything, Jim? No, I, I think uh, you, you hit uh, hit on everything. And of course, uh, M. Jones from, uh, I think he's in, uh, well, I don't know, if he, they're in Walton Hills. They oh, said, they're close. They said, no, we're done with the snow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Well, if they've lived in Walton Hills long enough, I remember one year, it was towards the end of May, we got like a foot of snow in no time and everything shut down. It was actually Easter Sunday. And um, yeah, it was, but it's Cleveland, okay? Lake effect. We have Lake Erie and we have this crazy lake effect snow. So I forgot to show you guys this one too. So when we're talking about different surfaces, terracotta pots, this is, again, you can make a cute little pot for Mother's Day and plant something in it or fill it with chocolate and art supplies, paint brushes. You guys can get a kit. Um, and again, so these lights, I think, work the best if you leave some of the bottle open and not fully painted. But again, just experiment. These are the best lights. So, and again, if you're going to have, so my friends are coming over. I've set a date. I haven't seen so many of my friends in so long. And I'm just going to put a bunch of art supplies out and we're going to be silly and have a good time. So, Think outside the box. Wait, I got to grab my Amazon box. Hold on. 
I forgot to do this last time. All right, you guys, think outside the box. There's my Amazon, right? And I don't know if I told you this, but I have been, um, I only did it once on video. I'm going to have to do it more often. I've been leaving my Amazon driver paintings because I have so many of them. And so as an example, you guys, I told you that the number one painting is the sunset. I'm doing the sunset Friday night and I'm doing the sunset Saturday afternoon. That means I'm going to have two more sunset paintings, okay? And everyone that's at the party is making a sunset, so I'm not going to give them mine. So I have been, some of these paintings, like the sunsets, I have like 10 of. So I leave them outside with a note. And one time, the Amazon driver called me, and the note had blown off. And he's like, is this painting for me? And so I opened the door, and, I, and the note was like in my flower bed. I'm like, yes, I left you a note. This is for you. And he was so excited. So I... It's so fun to give back, you guys, pay it forward. And I think that handmade gifts are the best. So get your art supplies. Oh, I gotta do it before I make any more. <laughs> get your art supplies, wash out your brushes. Don't leave them in the water overnight. Don't leave them in a cup. If you leave them in a cup, the bristles are gonna get ruined. If you leave them in the water overnight, the metal thing weakens up and then they fall apart. So just take care of your brushes and don't get the cheapest ones. Get like middle of the row. Okay, and not the pl plastic bristle because that doesn't absorb paint, right? Um, oh, yeah, and then I didn't tell you guys, which I did in the wine glass, you can use the eraser of a pencil too. The eraser of a pencil is great for polka dots, so I'll do a bigger one here, or the handle of your paintbrush. So, this is the eraser. The only thing is, you can't use the eraser to erase anymore once you put paint on it, but I reuse them all the time for polka dots. So that's, that's what I got for you guys tonight. I'll do another project soon. Hey, you guys can message me, text me, check out my website. Let me know what you want to make, and I'll make it with you guys, okay? Or if you have any questions, my um, email's on my website. You guys can text me, message me, whatever. Say hi to me. Send me pictures. Let me see what you're making. Ask me questions. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.